Hi, welcome back again to another tutorial by Ken Chan from Swisspec Resources in Nirmahat. We are the sub D for RuiJ and RuiE products based in Malaysia. So today I'm going to share with you on how to do the port forwarding or they are known as port mapping in RuiJ terms. Uh, the brand of the firewall is RGWall 1600-Z3200-S with the firmware of NGFWNTOS 1.0 R6 P1 Okay, this is how my network is set up Okay, we have a connection to Unify and then connected via VLAN Tech 500 and then the IP of the firewall is 192.168.110.1 for the subnet and then uplink to a 5 port PoE switch and then below it there are two storage server connected with each on the IP as stated below with the port and then for the general access there will be a RE RAP 2260G Wi-Fi 6 AP for general use and then another side would be my office network which we're going to link via IPsec VPN later on the next tutorial so for now we're going to start on how to set the IP port forwarding via the RJ Cloud to, to remotely access our firewall. The firewall only works with the new interface for RJ Cloud. Okay, on how are we going to come back to here? Okay, this is the initial old design. This is how it looks. Okay, here you can't see the firewall because it's not compatible with the old interface. Hence, we need to change it to the new design. Click here. Go to the profile of the firewall where it resides. Go to devices. Here you go. This is the firewall. So you just click on the serial number and you can you get to see all the status. Click on configuration. Click on eWeb. Click create tunnel. So you'll be directed to the login login page. Make sure you take the terms and condition agreement. Log in. Here's the main interface of the firewall. First, we need to create the IP for the machine that we want to do port forwarding. Click on the object in address, IPv4 address, click create name of your server IP address click save another one done Beside the server IP, you need to create the external connection as well. So from here, we know that our IP address for the one is this one. Click create. This one called one white area. Or the internet. This is your white area IP or your one IP or your dial up connection IP and click save next we need to tell the firewall what kind of services that we want to do so click on service click custom service and create accordingly so here I already create earlier
So let's do one. Destination port of my first server is port 5000. The second one is port 4000. Okay, let's delete all and we do all over. Protocol TCP, source port 0 to 65535, all ports means any. Destination, my internal port is 5000. Save. Second server. Port 4000. And I want to open another web service port. Only one. Next, we will need to add the address to the uh, policy and net grow. Go to policy, go to net policy, go to address pool, add the two server IP. Proceed to net policy under net and it create a net rule with SNET enable time range any security source security zone trust source address any destination security zone untrust destination address any service any and source address translated to outbound interface address and click save. Next, we will need to create for each individual of our port forwarding server. So that will be under DNet, is the destination net. So this is for my first server. Enable source security zone, any. Source address any destination the server confirm service to the server confirm the port of the server the IP of the server. And the port. Click save. Repeat for the second server. Unit. Any source address. Any confirm destination address. Intended server, the port, so I need and the port. Safe. Next, we will need to create a security policy which allow all this port to be accessible from outside. So you create a new policy group 
Maybe we call it pop folding. Click OK. After create the group, click on the pop folding and click create. You can you can straight away create or you want to do it in simulation space that is for you to testing before you roll it to the live network then this one we just straight away create so I call it enable policy group for forwarding source security zone any source address any user group any destination security any destination address any service any app any Time range any. So, do you want to put it behind a content security? Yes. Intrusion prevention. I don't want people to hack my server. So, I will just use the default action. Virus uh, protection enable. Yes. I don't want to have a uh, virus coming in or inject in or transfer into my server. I just put alarm which it will give me a notification in case got incoming virus to my server and click save uh, I guess I will block it intrusion I will block it as well So before that, you need to select a template. So I will use server on device. I will use deep scan and click save. Sorry, just now under the policy, under NAT, the go back in the destination address should be internet rather than the server save same goes for the second one this one also internet save so right now let's try and see whether is our port forwarding is working So I have registered earlier uh, DNS, the DNS, which tied to my firewall using the ReachADDNS free dynamic DNS IP domain services, and then the port for forwarding that 4000 that we have just done is working. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial up in the future.